Well, there are a large number of attempts to define carbohydrate quality. Dietary fiber is one, whole grain is another. Another one which is very important is glycemic index and glycemic load. But there are plenty of others which are not so optimal as, as, uh, as, as those. Looking at the quality is important. Uh, people who consume high quality uh, carbohydrates are much healthier. Particularly we know for studies that have been undertaken on, on type 2 diabetes and on coronary heart disease. Well, I'm impressed by some of the science that has already tried to harmonize this, especially in relation to uh, into a large bowel cancer, where again the quality is important for reducing the, the risk of large bowel cancer, and that is to weight the various ones and give it a different index altogether. But all these, all these things are important, the, the carbohydrate content, the quality of the carbohydrate, the whole grain, and the glycemic index or glycemic load. Well, I, I can see that you can, you can, we can do that. It's always been attempted in, in the example that I gave with, with colon cancer. Uh, and so I, it does seem to be an important thing to do. However, um, aside that, uh, different people want to do different things. And so it may well be for, for different people with their different choices uh, to be uh, provide all this information uh, on, on, the, on the label. Fiber content is already given, whole grain is often already given, um, glycemic index could also be given in the same way. I, I feel people will yeah. want different things, with uh, those that want to go for a low glycemic index, but with those that perhaps want to go for dietary fiber, and those who want to go for, for whole grains. Uh, and of course if you've got the three and each one is optimal, then that, that's a good thing. How do we show which is the optimal one uh, in terms, then there are different ways of doing that.